Hi, I'm Dr. Jared Gardner, and today I'm going to share a kind of simple but fun case with you. Uh, this is a basal cell carcinoma. And the reason I wanted to show you, it's a, just a really nice classic example of basal cell carcinoma with blue basaloid cells, uh, peripheral palisading of the nuclei where they line up in kind of tall columnar shape along the edge of the tumor, a little bit of that clefting artifact where there's a separation of the stroma or the dermis from the tumor cells. That's a very useful feature. And uh, I've got a long video about basal cell carcinoma with all sorts of details. I'll put a link uh, down below. But I just wanted you to see this one because it's a, a nice, pretty example. And it also shows something that's actually really common, but I find that if people have not noticed it before, they're often confused by it. And that is there are a ton of plasma cells underneath this tumor. Why are they here? I don't fully understand or know, but I'll tell you, I see this all the time where you'll have really prominent sheets of plasma cells underneath basal cell carcinomas, actinic keratosis, squamous cell carcinoma. That's, those are the most common situations. I presume that these cells are, are there trying to fight off the tumor somehow, um, uh, but unfortunately it doesn't appear like they're, they're winning the battle because the tumor is growing and doesn't seem to have any problem. So it's really common to see this though, and I've seen people sometimes notice it and then get worried that it's myeloma or some sort of clonal plasma cell neoplasm. But if you do kappa and lambda on these, which I've seen people do, uh, they end up polyclonal. Um, and like I said, it, it's really common. I, I see this usually several times a day, multiple times a day in my practice. So in any case, don't be surprised to see tons of plasma cells. And they can even be, in this case, that's quite a lot, but they, they can be even more robust and abundant than this. Uh, just tons and tons of them. Sometimes they'll be uh, have a MOT cells, which are those multi-vacuolated uh, um, uh, plasma cells that have multiple little uh, vacuoles filled with immunoglobulin or antibodies in them. Uh, I don't think we see a lot of them here today, but I've got um, another little video about that. So he oh, here's one right here. Look, well, it's not the best. But usually they look like a little cluster of grapes, uh, and they're bright pink. So anyway, nice example of plasma cells with the, the clock face or cartwheeled, speckled, chocolate chip pattern, chromatin, chocolate chip cookie, chromatin, whatever you like. And then they have purple amphiphilic cytoplasm with that pale perinuclear Hof, uh, which is uh, where the, where the um, uh, Golgi is to uh, uh, export the uh, antibodies out of the cell. So nice example, basal cell carcinoma. And I think based over here, you could call this like superficial type. And then where it starts getting thicker and in, in one of the other sections, uh, we started to see islands kind of growing down in the dermis. Uh, so I'd call it like here, it's kind of bigger, I'd say nodular type here. Sometimes there's some subjectivity between, between the different subtypes. Here's also nice, a nice palisading there. Again, lots of plasma cells. Basal cell carcinoma. All right, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, a quick one, uh, but still uh, bread and butter stuff is important too. All right, thanks for watching. Have a great day.